Hello everybody, this is me, Martel, the side. As I go home, had to get my medicine and all that. Nighttime, chilly. You know, it's interesting to have a conversation with the uh, previous cab driver. Uh, respectfully, we were talking about um, unable to fit into American culture and all that. If you're not conformist and all that. So I decided, sorry, it's very loud outside. It's uh, I mean, loud inside. It's a fucking road, but had no control over it. But anyway, I did want to talk to you. You know, I guess I have a confession, man. Something I always get along with foreigners and immigrants f for most of my life and so. And it's kind of crazy I have to make a video about this or audio broadcast because um, in this record, I've kind of realized I always get along with foreigners and immigrants because first, they're very polite people. But they're, I guess, um, very honest and hardworking, polite people. Um, also, my audience are foreigners too, you know, immigrants as well. I'm not sounding like I'm trying to intentionally disrespect my own people here in America. You know? I guess, I don't know why, it seems like me, foreigners, immigrants, we just vibe very well, you know. I'm not sounding like a xenophobic thing. My apologies if that's come out sound like a xenophobic, but I don't know. I, it's hard for me to really make this kind of topic, to be honest with you, while coming out any kind of way that I'll make that. Um, my apologies in advance. And the reason I make this audio broadcast because, well, it's dark outside, it's dark in the car or anything. And then, you know, light back here, so I'm about to do an audio broadcast. That's Martell, you know? And I kind of noticed this too, that it's kind of hurt my heart to say this, which is ironic. Me and Isaac was just talking about that we could vibe and connect with foreigners and immigrants much better. than right here in America, you know, we talk about, I just made a video about conform out, uh, Social uh, prison in America. Talk about social uh, engineer, yeah, social engineer, and all that. If you don't conform, you don't follow to the program, and all that. If you don't do what everybody else do, you basically get SOL, basically. You know, try to be more conservative this time around. You know, and also getting positive from the noise because bumpy roads outside. But it's also nighttime. Yeah, um, the reason I'm making this video too, because I want to create awareness that I don't know why, you know. It's been like this since I was a kid, also. They get many different people from around the world, you know, I talk to people from Italy, talk to people from Africa, you know, Latin America, and um, Asia, and all that, parts of Europe. You know, so it's kind of funny, though. And once again, I apologize to my foreign audience if you think I'm coming off of xenophobia or anything. My apologies in advance, you know. I'm not good at dressing these kind of things in a political kind of talk. I'm not a political kind of person, you know what I'm saying? So forgive my uh, obvious tone, you know. I try to be more conservative, you know. So I do try to listen to my audience no matter where they're from, you know. I try to understand them. But also being a recording artist, I also had to listen to, you know, different backgrounds to myself anyway, you know. I know I'm trying to, like, expand. I've been trying to do that for over 10 years, you know, so I'm trying to span my music, trying to span my content internationally as well, you know. Because I want to be around different culture. America is not a culture. It's a, it's a corporate culture, my body. It's a corporate culture. If you like corporations, you know what I'm saying, if you like to... Mm, you have to compromise, you know, if you want to be in that kind of field. And, you know, my kind of field, you know, you know, black, disabled, American, you know, that non-conformist, disabled, black men. Now, of course, I don't fit among my own peers or America, for that matter, or Western psychology, I suppose. But, you know, it's kind of ironic, though, despite the Western countries. I, I always seem to get pretty well with people from Europe, of all people. I love people from Europe and also well. Uh, it's kind of interesting. They've been very open-minded for over 10 years on social media and everything. I love them for that, you know. They're very open-minded. They're very, you know, you know, different. You know, outside of branch, you know, outside of themselves. They love, you know, different way of thinking and all that, you know. I guess the reason, yeah, I'm the reason I'm making this video too because, you know, I've been inspired, of course, by happy abroad, you know, uh, uh, expert kings and all that and recently here and there for the last five seven years past four bros and all that you know i want to expand my horizon you know i'm trying to learn different languages because i love cultures like i said before also being a recording i was always want to try to like expand i want to grow besides just america you know what i'm saying the west you know i guess you say but martone aren't you american i know geographically i am but in my heart I never feel married, you know what I'm saying? I don't even feel accepted at 
alcoholic right here, you know, despite living here for almost my whole entire life, you know. I don't know, it's like, it sounds kind of weird, a weird orthodox that I can relate, I guess, I don't know if it's either myself or maybe because I'm weird, maybe because I stand out, maybe because I'm crazy, so I don't know. It's kind of ironic on social media, people literally talk to me for a while, like, I tell my friend I'm disabled, you know what I'm saying? I tell my friend I got autism and all that. So I don't know. I don't want to make no pre. I don't want to make no prejudice or remarks or anything, you know what I'm saying? I try to always be open to everybody, you know, man and woman, no matter where they're from, you know, as long as they come to me respectful, I come to respectful, that's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? I guess because I don't fit the norm of what a black man is supposed to be in America and all that, so of course I get attacked, you know what I'm saying? I get attacked from the jobs, you know, the close ones, me and my own family, so that I don't perform anything, you know. Maybe because, maybe with my rebellion, maybe with my programming, maybe with my brain, I don't, I'm not sure, you know what I'm saying. It's kind of weird, to be honest with you. I'm learning Spanish as I'm speaking. I'm trying to learn Japanese as well as Chinese. I'm, I'm working with my beautiful young lady, uh, Isis. We can talk about different languages and cultures as well, you know. And that's something I was never taught, like how to speak a different language. The only time I got taught about speaking different languages was back when I was a bit. I would say, uh, some part of junior high. Yeah, basically, with like, no, no, yeah, high school and all that. But then I was, you know, nobody in my family, nobody, unfortunately, my mother had passed when I was, my mother passed and. 2003, and I've been like 20 years now, since now it's 2023, been 20 years since my mother passed, she was the only one that's academically educated, you know what I'm saying, I was in a special education class to be honest, which is pitiful to say that, but it is what it is, you know, I was just very dangerous, I love to read, you know, read books, read uh, comic books and stuff, I love reading visual books and all that, it sounds kind of shallow and all that, but that's just how I learn, I learn from, you know, learning from Seeing, you know, saying seeing like pictures, art, color, and all that. I just can't read the straight up text, you know. What I'm saying that gets boring to me, you know. Anyways, the ambulance is coming right through. Don't want to shut this video off or anything, but yeah, I'm trying to keep it more, you know, try to keep it down the middle and all that, you know. So I try to keep a mid balance. I try to be, you know, bring the both audiences, you know. To the mainstream, also turn it different on the ground and all that, you know what I'm saying? Independent. You know, my fault sometimes, you know, try to be a bring balance, you know. Without balance, it's chaos, you know. So, I do believe in uh, maintaining order, you know what I'm saying? And I know that sounds kind of insane sometimes to hear that from me, but that's just how I live, you know. I live by myself because in America, you know, let's be realist, I'm not a performance. I don't follow the latest trends and all that. It's kind of funny, sound bit hypocritical because some of y'all know I do use like Samsung products and all that. And huh? I mean, I work hard to get where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? So I deserve to earn a Samsung product. I know they're very big, you know, worldwide. Samsung's still popular, they got their own military <laughs> and they're making products for Apple and all that. But that, that ain't what's important. What's important is it's culture, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have a culture, you pretty much lost, you know what I'm saying? Look at it, you know, I talk about, you know, all the time, don't they single mothers and all look at the broken household, broken families in America and all that. You know what I'm saying? Broken, you know, broken foundation, you know? And the reason I make these kind of comparing videos is because, well, someone got to speak out on it, you know what I'm saying? I do, I came from a background where families, at that point, given point in time, was were important, you know, the nuclear middle class, I was raised in the middle class, lower middle class household. Then due to a house fire and all that, it was middle class, lower, I say lower middle class, it was based in the ghetto and all that. But we had like a house and all that, me and my mom, my dad, made the rest in peace. You know, my dad was, they should keep a roof under our head. You know, tell them home is an important thing never in your life, you know what I'm saying? Make home first, make home uh, your first priority and everything else to take the struggle for, you know? Which I'm in the process of moving, but I can't say too much because due to special interest in watching it and all that. So I'm forced to kind of like play PG and PC and all that if you get with my truck. But on the contrary, though, as I'm getting ready to go home, like seven minutes away from home and all that. 
as Mark said, why do you make videos like this? You know, kind of, I like to stand out sometimes. Maybe it's, sometimes it's intentional, sometimes unintentional. You know, as I make these videos, I just in this audio broadcast. You know, I haven't done one in a long time. You know, I mean, uh, for my last couple of years, I've been kind of like burned out, been kind of like feel kind of like I'm off my game and all that. Let me size up, fucking kind of burn out. But back I was saying about foreigners, immigrants. Well. A lot of people I'm really interested in, the ones that have talked to me the most are literally from uh, Africa, Latin America, the Caribbeans, as well as Asia, parts of Europe, and all that. They've been, you know, they've been really gracious and kind to me, explain things. Especially, I forgot about the uh, Asian identity community online, you know what I'm saying? Despite I've been banned off of Reddit and all that. I lost my original um, Instagram and Twitter as well, being banned off of my original Twitter and Instagram. Uh, they disabled my original Instagram. I guess the reason that I'm making this video too is just let you know if you're not a conformist, you're pretty much SOL, you know. And I can't, I had to learn from being my mid 30s, being 33, I felt like an old man saying this, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to get my priorities together at 33, you know, I don't want to be working no, no, uh, crappy dead end job for the rest of my life, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be optimistic, but also trying to be realistic. Some of y'all say you come up kind of positive. Some say you come up kind of negative. You know, I can't please everybody, you know. And that's what I've been struggling with internally, too, what to say, how to come off things, what the tone, and all that. So, Martel's out. Thank y'all for watching.